In the fall semester of 2013, I taught the same class in both the traditional space and in the Haley Center's easel classroom. Though I could incorporate some innovations to my teaching in the traditional space, I could not engage the more active individual group discussions common to the easel room. Did these differing experiences for me and the students affect their performance? My instinct says yes, and that semester's grades also suggest that this is likely, though obviously more time and data are needed for a more accurate assessment. Nevertheless, the percentage of better grades was higher in the easel classroom than in the traditional classroom that semester. For example, 15% of my easel students earned A's in contrast with 7% in the other class. 49% of my easel students earned B's in contrast with just 38% in the other. Then, of course, there are the skills that were not directly assessed, but are still highly desirable, such as collaboration, public speaking and organization, skills which I believe are better developed in the active learning environment. In fact, several of my easel students returned to take my spring semester offering in a more traditional setting and the skills and habits they formed or strengthened in the easel room, such as analyzing the material and sharing their opinions, seem to have carried over. The easel space facilitates a more active experience unlike the passive listening and note-taking in the conventional classroom. The students find it less desirable to get by without completing their work, and there are considerably fewer opportunities to zone out and miss important points. Moreover, in the easel room, I have switched the assigned homework into the classroom and the traditional lecture outside the classroom and now online. With its large tables, the room accommodates their books and mobile devices and gives them space to write and to talk. So the room itself encourages more interaction among the students. And since students do progress at different rates, those more comfortable with the material advance through the semester at a pace more appropriate for them, while the other students gain a larger support system and student models to show them that the material is within their reach. Most rewarding for me as the teacher in this new learning environment is to see my students gaining confidence as I watch them discuss ideas and present their results to their peers, and then to trust they will take this confidence with them when they leave the university. Yeah, I feel like the, uh, the, new, the new room is a bit more interesting, and uh, I think that there were a few factors that maybe did make it a, a better learning environment than the traditional classroom. I like how we are sitting at tables in groups. It helps with getting to know one another and it feels a little bit more personal than a normal classroom. I feel like it engaged the class a lot more in a better class discussion and it kind of just made people have to be more interactive. Like the use of the boards and the t uh, televisions that were uh, kind of just allowed you to have a better use of the room as opposed to the traditional class where I feel like we're kind of just sitting there more. I think that being in a smaller group within a larger group kind of gave our group a sense of companionship. It also kind of allowed us to have a sort of dependency on each other. I worked with, uh, since I was with the same group all semester, I studied more with that group because we, you know, we were stuck together in class, so we got to know each other, we became friends that way. So we were able to study and review better for that class as opposed to now where we're in the lecture style classroom and I don't really get that interaction with the students as much. In the new classroom from last semester, um, we would actually have group work every single day. And in the old classroom, it's much more common for everyone to just sit and watch a lecture on a screen and he just uh, randomly calls on people or uh, asks for volunteers. I really liked that the tables, the group tables were around the outside of the classroom with the teacher in the middle. I feel like that kind of made you, everyone pay attention, it engaged your attention towards the center of the room to where everyone is focused on the same thing as opposed to if the teacher's on one side of the room, then the people in the back of the room aren't necessarily gonna pay attention, they may be on their phones. But if the teacher's in the middle of the room, it forces you to give him all of your attention. So I feel like that was definitely very helpful. I'm more prepared in the uh, new classroom because I feel like I've got a responsibility to my group as well as um, that likelihood of, of being called on. Actually, I think that the learning classroom uh, had better grades and probably will have better grades than this semester 
And um, I think that in part it is because of the preparation. I was more prepared uh, in the learning classroom because of its environment. Then this semester I find myself able to, to shrug off the homeworks more easily. I think I had a higher grade in the EA, EASL classroom just because I was paying attention more and was more engaged. We had outlets at each table. We had USB ports at each table to plug in your computers to, and that was extremely helpful. So I really liked that you had that access all around the classroom. It was different at the beginning of the semester and it took a little while to get used to, but now I can't think of anything I don't like about it.